Back at it with Chef Nino at Rouse's. Thank you for watching. Hey, everybody. This is the gorgeous culinary center in oh, the Westmobile it's store. Beautiful. Yo, come see this. You're going to love it. We do classes here. Yeah. All kind of tastings for children, adults, everybody. There's something for everybody. Here. This facility here, this new one in Westmobile, is absolutely beautiful. It really is. Just, just like you, Nino. You know, can we talk about that? No, come on, man. <laughs> I have a truck payment. No, I'm joking. Okay, look, real fast, <laughs> we, we're going to do a uh, chicken pot pie soup. And we're going to do a rotisserie chicken pot pie soup. So you can make it easy, all right? We got a lot of steps. I eliminated the hard steps. It's so easy, but it's so flavorful for a nice, cool day. I don't think I've had a pot pie soup before. So this is two in a row of recipes you've made, which I've never had before in my life. That's right. And we got our Rouse's rotisserie chicken all right and there's different flavors I got the naked because there's no flavor on it at all we're gonna create our own um, we have some portobello mushrooms here that uh, we're gonna cut up some carrots we got a jar of these little pearl onions all right some peas and uh, I'm always trying to appease the situation with you Anyway, okay, and uh, we have some carrots, and uh, look what I did with the garlic, and of course we got some onions. Um, I cut the, 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 really the head off the garlic, okay? All right, then you pour a little bit of uh, olive oil on there, okay? Yeah, um, and then, right oh yeah, wait till you try it. And then uh, you can kind of put a little bit of uh, Cajun seasoning or whatever you like on there. You're gonna bake it under the broiler, 500, for about five to 10 minutes, till it looks like this. All right, now when it's all said and done, watch this. You just kind of squeeze out. Watch, try one of them. Just trust me, it's like candy. Mmm. Whoa, whoa. You gotta, you gotta get it in your mouth right now. <laughs> it's delicious. And it's that simple. Yeah. And it has a, a layer of flavor, and it's easy to peel. You don't have to worry about peeling it all, and that fresh garlic flavor. It's appealing. <laughs> Brother, leave, leave to the professional, okay? <laughs> yeah. Stay in your lane. Okay. Don't My come. Fault. No, 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 I'm just joking. Okay. Um, okay, so we're, we're doing this stuff. When we come back, so what's the next step in this uh, process? The next step, after we cut up, we got our onions already cut up. Yep. Uh, we're going to cut up our carrots and our mushrooms. We're going to put them in a skillet, saute it down, and then we're going to put a little bit of flour and a little bit of thyme. Mm -hmm. All right? Do we have the mushrooms because you're a fun guy? I'm sorry. <laughs> we're going to come back. We have more to come. Cut, cut the tape. Cut the <laughs> We'll be back. Make sure you come back. <laughs> it's a Studio 10 first chicken pot pie soup. Soup. That's right. Yeah. Rouse's rotisserie chicken pot pie soup. We're going to make it even easier. Yes. Yeah. This is Chef Nino, by the way. Hey, everybody. Thank you for watching. And uh, I wish they could smell this smell. Brother, put the camera a little bit closer. People, get off your couch and get closer to the TV so you can really smell and experience what we're doing here. All right. Um, what we did, we cut up our uh, onions, uh, our mushrooms, uh, and uh, uh, we put some peas, we put some uh, carrots, we put some pearl onions, and that's where we are with this right here, okay? So that's kind of what a traditional pot pie foundation yeah. is? Okay. Yeah. And so I got the idea, uh, hey, on a cold day, let's make a soup out of it. Really okay. simple to do, okay? All right. Um, and now at this point, we want to thicken that up a little bit uh, for your soup. So we're going to put a little bit of flour, okay? And while you're working on that, Chef Nino, uh, Rouse's is great if people are planning holiday parties, holiday get-togethers, a lot of different ways that you can help the folks. Tell us a little bit about that. That's right. You can go to your Rouse's Deli, any one of our uh, seven locations here in Mobile, holiday dinner order form. Can it be any simpler? Your size, yeah. the main, whatever one you like. Whatever one you want. Uh, party trays for tailgating, for the beach, whatever you like, vegetable and fruit trays. We got something for everybody. We want to make it easy. We crack the crab, shuck the oysters, peel the shrimp, got, got it all ready for you to help you out. That's right. Sometimes people don't have people over because they think, oh, it's going to be so stressful. I got to get all this stuff ready. They can just come to Rouse's and knock it all out. That's right. And you can do all of your holiday meal or part of it, whatever one you like. Sounds good. So we put a little bit of Dijon mustard in there. Uh, we have our uh, flour and we're going to let this just kind of thicken a little bit. There we go. Now, we haven't talked about it in a while, but you've been on Studio 10 several times. But tell us a little bit about the Rouse's markets in general and the story behind Rouse's. The story behind Rouse's, uh, Mr. Anthony Rouse started Rouse's in 1960 uh, with his first store. And now they're 60 store. Wow. Uh, it's really an amazing success story. It is. A local family from Louisiana. And uh, the, he's always said the concept, buy local and shop local. And that's so big now. And he started that a long time ago. And everybody now realizes that if you're supporting 
being local, you're supporting your own community and the people around you. Yes, yes, you are. And then with that said also, the family also goes all over the world and bring gourmet food products from all over the world. That's awesome. Yeah, that's, that's great. We featured some of the Italian stuff. And one of the things you wanted to talk about is a brand new olive oil hitting the market. That's right. It's called Olio Novella. That's the new oil. The olives are pressed around the November, December-ish time period. And the first three months after pressing, and I, I lived there 13 years. We made our own oil for every year for 13 years. Wow. Um, the first three months before it has time to really kind of settle down, mm -hmm. those flavors are kind of fiery. It's unfiltered oil, first cold press. It looks like an olive. It smells like an olive. It's kind of fiery and peppery. And then unusual, it, for an olive oil connoisseur, you want to get this limited production. Yeah. We only brought over 8,000 bottles, and they're going to go fast. In fact, you probably should go to Rouse's Facebook and pre-order it. It's gotcha. going to be going fast. But this oil is unlike any other oil you've ever had, unless you've been to Italy itself. And the family brought it right back from Italy. It's going to be available. It is available now in the store. Man, I can't wait to try that out. So, yeah. uh, what do we need to do here to work on getting toward finishing this up for our final right. segment? I am going to, uh, we already put our onions and we've got all of our vegetables there. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put a little bit of time. Do we have time? Yeah, we, we have time for time. Time, that's right. <laughs> this will make time fly. You would, that was a waste of time right there. Oh, no. All right. So, look, y'all. <laughs> Uh, we have our uh, chicken stock cooking here, yeah. okay? And then we're gonna turn off the fire, and uh, we're gonna go ahead, and we are gonna put in this. I'm sorry, my brother. I wasn't trying to. I wanna keep my face. Yes, sir. All right, so we'll be back with more with Chef Nino from Rouse's right. And we're gonna cut up our bit. chicken and put it in. Don't miss it, I'm serious, don't leave. at Rouse's in Westmobile with Chef Nino finishing up our chicken pot pie soup. So tell us we, we what? Tell us where we are at right now. That's right. On Airport Road. Okay. <laughs> Airport Road in Chillinger. Yes. No, no, no. Let me tell you where we are, y'all. <laughs> Thanks for coming back. I appreciate it. And you're going to love this recipe. Um, we make a Rouse's rotisserie chicken pot pie soup. All right. We sauteed our uh, cut vegetables, our, uh, our onions, our carrots, our celery, our garlic, um, our mushrooms, I'm looking in the soup to make sure I got all my ingredients. We put some thyme, some Dijon mustard, and we sauteed it, put a little bit of flour in that skillet like it was, and when you left, we put it right in the chicken stock with the Rouse rotisserie chicken cut up. And this is what we have there. It's been simmering. Man, so good. How long do you want to let it sit to let those flavors all come together? I would say let it boil for about 15, 20, 30 minutes if mm. you have it. Um, not even 30, maybe even half an hour. Packed with flavor. Packed with flavor, that's right. All right, and this is what it looks like right here. Definitely unusual, a nice meal for the holidays. It's gonna be getting colder, hopefully. Uh, <laughs> right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I absolutely love this, y'all. You definitely gotta try out this recipe. You can find them all on fox10tv.com. Just click on the Studio 10 tab. Look also on the Rouse's website, you can find them there as well. That is so good, Chef Nino. Now tell the folks a little bit about uh, what you guys got going on here for the holidays. Yeah, we, Rouse's is definitely your definitely holiday central headquarters. You can go right to the deli and we can do your whole holiday meal for you, uh, every side or the whole thing, a little bit of it or all of it. And we have party central, tailgating central, you're gonna love it. And definitely visit the fresh seafood, uh, the, the butcher cut steaks, we'll even cut steaks made to your order, however you like it, just talk to the butcher people there, we'll do it for you. Yeah. And they have a lot of stuff where you've already prepared it somewhat and you just have to take it home and bake it. Yeah, our stuff. Cajun specialty meats, our yeah. bacon wrapped stuffed jalapenos and stuffed pork chops and chicken, our Cajun specialty meats from the pack to the pit to the plate. You guys make it easy. This recipe is easy using that rotisserie chicken. You guys do a great job. Y'all check out the recipe. Chef Nino, thank you so much. Thank you and thank y'all for watching. I'll see you at one of the Rouses. Thank Back you. Back to Eden.